Hello everyone, how's it going? It's your friendly neighborhood infectious disease guy Rajiv Fernando here with another update on the president's health while he's infected with COVID-19. So I've been getting a lot of calls, emails about possible conspiracy theories. So the first question I've been getting is, does the president have COVID-19 or not? Yes, he does. They've had multiple tests. He does have COVID-19. People are asking about whether this is some sort of a strategy to get sympathy votes. But my take is if he did want to get a sympathy vote, he'd probably be pulling this stunt closer to November 3rd. I would say about uh, October 25th, 6th, that's when he would be getting the sympathy vote. Wrong time to pull this card. Firstly, let's move on to the next step. So the next question I've been asking is, has the president actually gotten oxygen, supplemental oxygen? That's the big question. So the situation over here is the president has received a drug called remdesivir. Remdesivir is an antiviral agent and it's really anyone who is on any sort of oxygen whatsoever gets remdesivir. What does that mean? Anyone who is on what's called a nasal cannula, which is the lowest amount of oxygen, anyone on mechanical ventilation, anyone on something called ECMO, which is when cases are really bad, all these patients get remdesivir. So since he's gotten remdesivir, he must have had some sort of oxygen uh, su uh, supplementation at some point, no doubt about that. Moving forward, uh, his, um, the date of diagnosis is very confusing. Now we do know the incubation period of COVID-19 is really anywhere up to 14 days. It's unclear how long the president has actually had this. Uh, the president tweeted that about 36 hours ago that he has it. His physician said it's uh, 72 hours. A lot of confusion over here. And that's why I'm glad uh, you know uh, other people around him have been getting tested. But it's concerning. We really don't, it's hard really for me to tell you the exact date that he got COVID-19. Moving on to the next thing about his physician, very, uh, it was a conference, but didn't really give me too many answers. Actually confused me a little bit by the answers. Uh, so they said he's in very good health. His complete blood panel is normal. Liver is normal, kidney is normal. But when someone gets admitted to the hospital with COVID-19, physicians, we do a workup which checks inflammation levels and clot levels. So we have what's called a reactive protein. We have something called a ferritin, which tells you how much inflammation. And then we have something called a D-dimer. If your D-dimer levels are high, you could get blood clots all over into your lungs. You can uh, go to the brain, strokes, heart attacks. That's not being revealed. And I think they should definitely be doing that. The last thing I do want to point out is, clearly I'm a Fauci guy, but I do want to mention that, you know, in times like this, in times of sickness, you know, this is not the time to actually be saying, you know, I hope the president dies or these things on social, not the right thing. I'm telling you, I've seen so many people suffer with COVID-19 and die. Hundreds of patients I've seen. And it is such a painful death. So I urge all of you, whatever damn party you're on, you know, just be, be a human being and just this is not the time the president is not out of the woods yet remember multiple risk factors age male sex uh, obesity hypertension some cardiac disease so he's not out of the woods yet even though the white house is saying he's great we really need to watch him for the next 48 hours to 72 hours if he gets that if he gets past that we'll be in good shape so till we till we meet again thank you everyone we'll give you another update with the president's health tomorrow. Until then, stay safe, wear a mask, mask up first.